more meta way where we what, where your teammates are and where the battle's going down, especially if you're playing like a large 64 player map and you need to cap something. You need to be more aware of where everything's going down and where you need to be to reinforce or cap and stuff like that. In COD it's uh, more of personal skill, you don't have to rely so much on teammates, I would argue at least. Evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made Ooh, to nice. bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who knows that? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. That's I'm bad. I'm not interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the hmm. Geth's memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believed... Yeah, the that's exactly my point. In uh, Battlefield, you need a lot more strategies and strategizing whilst on the field with your teammates, having that communication. Uh, whilst in COD, it's much more running in, is he there, uh, check the corner, quick turn, jump, you know, all that stuff. It, and it's also the reason why the COD maps are a lot more smaller than the larger Battlefield maps. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a damn fool. Saren, and you refuse to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake hmm. again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the guest to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. Oh, I know. Reaper Reapers. Reapers. just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Well, you're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. Hmm. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in! Ah, oh, that sucks, man. A fleet cannot track down one man. The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or yeah. Or trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Same old Every story. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. Well, I love my PC, but I'm thinking about actually upgrading my PC as soon as I uh, get my next paycheck. It was a Turian specter who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed it. Yeah, exactly. As well, good competition between two partners should always bring the best innovation and the best prices and uh, the best market for the uh, uh, consumers, which in this case is us. So competition breeds innovation, and innovation breeds uh, better. Situation for the consumers, and I'm becoming a spectre. Yay! Check it, check it, check. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the citadel. I haven't really checked that yet, but I'm going to check around and see if I can't upgrade my processor a bit, because I think that's the only thing that's uh, sort of keeping me back right now. I'm thinking about upgrading to an i7. 
Uh, I don't really need to upgrade my uh, coolant system because I'm using a water coolant system and it's really good, so that's okay. And the uh, power source, I have a one that's capable of 1000 watts, I think it is, so, so it's really powerful and I don't really need to upgrade that at all. 16 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for me, and the GTX 780 TX. Uh, TI is uh, more than enough as well. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. <laughs> I'll find him. Yeah, no, perhaps not. That's a bit much money to put in. The 780 Ti is very good as well, so that's good enough for me. We've got a lot of work to Shit, GTX Titan said it's... Uh, <laughs> well, but it is really freaking powerful though. What I do for a living... I currently work in uh, the restaurant business. I work at a local bar slash restaurant. As bartender slash waiter. What do you expect from a politician? Come on, right behind the chair. Nice. So that's what I do for a living, but I mean, <laughs> it would always be nice to be able to stream for a living, but uh, I don't see that happening in any time soon. But uh, I'm going to go into uh, study uh, in uh, autumn. In uh, here in Sweden, so I'll see where I get to. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. But that's what I do. Maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. Hmm, that usually means one of two things: they had massive mechanical failure. Or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find it. <laughs> yeah, it would be very nice to get paid to the stream, but I don't see me getting enough followers in anytime soon. Uh, I'm apparently not um, entertaining enough for a lot of people to watch me. Or something. But I mean, I have managed to retain you too, so it's at least something. I'm just happy with uh, being able to get some nice people to talk to while I'm doing this. So to me, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, been raised to see Krogan as bloodthirsty thugs. I uh, meet a few interesting people while streaming and that's the good enough for me. The is a lot easier to swallow when all Krogan are savage monsters, isn't it? Why don't you head back to the Normandy, kid? If you stay here in the real world, you might have to learn something. Hmm. What's this genophage they're talking about? Has it something to do with the Krogans? Oh yeah, I'm heading out into that place, didn't they say? So, uh, find nearest quick travel station. Okay. Problem. Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The 
Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? No, that's well, that's very true. That one, that, that one can argue that it becomes more like a job, and it, when it becomes more a job, it doesn't become as fun, but... I mean, it would be nice to have a shot at it. I mean, why not? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the hen our language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. You do know. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are I, Hanar, yeah, but you know, we, we do, do really, really need a uh, escape from reality once in a while. This one will not cause any further trouble for the season. Reading the news all the time can get one, one very depressed things. very quickly. So playing a game like this is uh, sort of nice. It, uh, it it's a nice escape. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Thank you. Yes, I was looking for a quick travel session, was I not? Yes, I was. But oh well, what you're gonna do with the when reality is reality? Sometimes it just comes knocking at your door, and then you have to answer it. That's just how life is. But then again, once in a while, you should really use the opportunity to get away. To be honest, I think everybody should try to uh, play games or read more books to escape from reality. Short movies are good for escaping from reality or just wasting time, but I think books and video the games leave more time for uh, use of your imagination, something a lot of people when could really have helped for. I like my elevator music a lot better. So I'm a spectre, let's get our asses out of here. I like the awkward silence when Nobody talks. Yeah, I've also been following a lot about Syria and Ukraine and everything like that. And yeah, it does really get you depressed. I mean, you just get mad that the world is as it is. Then I read today in the news that as a Swedish nation, um, we have a lot of interest in what happened to our Baltic neighbors. And apparently Russia has been threatening to destabilize the region even more. Uh, not, not destabilizing even more, but start to destabilize and change how it operates in the Baltic Sea and the Baltic nations if we join NATO. Oh really, what do you do for a living then, JRTG? news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Nomen. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. I know you said that you work night, but I never asked what you did. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, sir. 
They were considering me for the stands. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the case. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the council rejected me. I had to Saren sounds like a freaking asshole. No, well, you already knew that, but... Saren's not going to get away oh, this. so that's what you do. Saren's nice. Don't even try to find him. But we know it's out. The convict. He's got his yeah, I can see uh, where that... Uh, <laughs> Doesn't leave you much time for the news then. Before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferrox and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezi, the other voice in that recording. Oh, like I said, Marcia's acting is really starting to scare me, to be honest. It might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liana, Dr. Liana and it's apparently starting to scare a Swedish official as well, because uh, before the events in Ukraine, a lot of the Swedish uh, officials were vocal in uh, giving a lessening our defense even more. But now they've started to get more voices raised about increasing the uh, amount of money they get. Take care of Sarah. You take care of the political fall. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I have to Google that now. I have to make sure. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Are they? Let's Google it. I'll see. In bed. Um. No, apparently not. In Brev is apparently Belgian. Oh uh, well, that's perhaps a simplified way to view it. But uh, yeah, the United States have, over some of the years, made uh, some of the weird decisions. I have to say. That's uh, true. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. Like I've seen yeah. ship for yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want NATO, Sweden to join NATO. Really, I'd rather see a Nordic Union of uh, military strength than um, joining NATO. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. We all know what happened on Eden Prime. We saw the destruction, we saw the bodies, we saw what Saren did. And I plan to make him pay. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Yeah! It's time for us to step up and do our it's time for a for fuck yeah speech. Time our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will Yeah, Sarah, apparently no this Belgian. Uh, Inbrew is apparently a merger between a Brazilian and a Belgian brewery. Apparently. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Where the hell is that manual? I can see from over here. Oh, it's over there.
Nope. Can't touch them. Citadel. So might... Oh! Information about Citadel. What to say? Supposedly, this country belongs to Protheans. This calls the Leap Space Station serves the capital of the Council. Go to Simulator 2 Rotation. It's called the Football 1.2 as energies and awards. And light see if it's the same on the Procedure Ring. Total 4.47 kilometers. Whoa! That's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> gross weight 7. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit, it weighs a lot. Well, there we go. I was supposed to head here. Yeah. <laughs> no need to apologize. I mean, um, hey, Europe's all the same, right? No, just joking. But uh, no need to apologize. That is an easy mistake to make. I mean, I've. Uh, a lot of times I thought that company belonged to one place when it turned out it didn't, so it's cool my friend, it's cool. Isn't it? Can't you like scan in this game or something? Oh, you can serve it, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. No very small first interesting world, they have a big mission. Isn't this one of the uh, main missions? I think it is. Oh well. Let's see what we can find over here. Sorry. Your scan uncovered a deep space probe slowly orbiting the Yontrol. Tolly brought on board, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion. <laughs> well, we don't have Nokia either, unfortunately. That's Finnish. Though Finland is pretty much Sweden by this time. <laughs> or could have been Sweden. But nope, that's Finnish. Well, we've got, we've got Dice and we've got um, Ericsson, so we've got some things that's going well. Also, Skype was asked before Microsoft bought them. Yeah, that's Remington. Arcadia. See you, mates. Eden Prime. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, at least you uh, didn't say that the Nokia was Japanese. I've heard people claim they were Japanese, and I was like, wait, no. That's entirely different continent. Not a continent, but entirely different part of the world. Well, I'm sure the <laughs> Japanese, and I was like, no, 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 the Finnish. Trust me, our neighbors. But like I said, it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> no, no, no. Just because you're right on some facts doesn't make you stupid. Stupidity is a whole different thing in my book. Message coming in. Patching it through. Yeah, I think it is though. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Yeah, I. I, I do actually think that Microsoft bought Nokia. 
so the Finnish won't have them either, so it's America now. Oh yeah, it is this game where you drive around in the vehicle. I've seen people do this before. I've never done it myself though. There's something over here. Is it? No. Oops. There's a hole there. Oh, we can jump. That's nice. No, there's something up here. Whoa! Holy shit, that wasn't what I planned to do. Okay, driving mechanics is a bit awkward. And I can drive up almost vertical surfaces. That's quite nice. How does one get out of this vehicle? Perhaps I can't get out of the vehicle. Can I? Gotta find the controls. And then there we know. Perhaps they perhaps they are. Chernobyl, perhaps they are we if if they are then we'll know soon enough. Let's hope not though, because uh, the way the in the tech, uh, the effect, the pace that the Japanese are advancing their technology will be left in the dust. So let's hope not. Uh, let's jump. Let's this this this. Can I get out of this vehicle? No, I don't return to normally. Map. Nope. Um. Not this either. The inventory screen. You. Die. Yeah. Oh shit! I have six. So. Oops. Okay, so I can get out. Um, hmm. Now I just gotta find the button for it. This is the one negative thing about PC when they don't tell you what button it is, and you have to go through every damn button on your keyboard. Um, let's just zoom. Doesn't help me though. Oh, Q! I found it. Recover the artifacts. Oh crap. Insignia. Oh, I'll get back inside. Oh. Now it tells me. Thank you. That's true. That's true. Um, but I don't think China would want to grind them to death. Sure, they have their differences and they gruff over the Senkaku Islands or whatever the Chinese call them. Uh, but. Um, when worse comes to worse, I don't think they will actually do anything to each other. Because uh, it'll hurt them both too much economically to do that. Because if uh, China does anything to Jap Japan, they will lose trade interests with the, the US and the West. And say what they want, uh, they can't satisfy their economy by just trading with Russia. It, it, it won't be feasible. So, hopefully, if our, if their leaders, as they seem to do, are interested in more of a, the economy than anything else, then uh, they should be fine. But 
We never know. We never know. Let's just hold out hope for the fact that nothing bad happens.